Hey guys, welcome back to my very first blind playthrough of Metaphor Re Fantasio. We are headed back to Grand Trad today with Stroll and Grius in tow. There's going to be a lot of things to explore over there. And we're going to try to carry out our assassin mission against Luis. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy. Good. Alrighty then, let's hit the road. The king's funeral coming up. The king's funeral is coming up, is it not? We should hurry back to the Grand Trad. Let's go. Let's, mm. We'll need to catch a carriage soon if we want to make it to the royal capital. Let's go. We can wait no longer. Are you ready? Go to right. the Grand Trad. On our Escaping next the adventure. In the Nord Mines. The party shakes their pursuers amidst the discovery of great powers. To make up for lost time, they risk hiring a coach to seek with them the rest of the way to the capital. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Two days remain. Finally, we found a ride. Looks like we should make it in time for the funeral after all. Last time we rode in a public carriage, it was hit by bandits. A pack of Luis salads, too, if I remember. Talk about a nasty surprise. You've come a ways since then. Any bandits who sit on us now are in for a nasty surprise. Reminds me of the road to the fort. Sitting there in the cart. Never could have imagined you and I would be the only survivors. Strange. How fast life can change. How are you holding up? You okay? Unfortunately, I'd not had time to put any names to faces. Don't even know the name of the Roussant fellow we talked down. Well, he dead now. The last couple days have certainly been eventful. Almost feels like everything we thought we knew about the world was wrong. Well, plenty of people live their lives without taking a single step outside their city. But we haven't the luxury of ignorance, I suppose. We're almost to the capital. Quiet now, and stay sharp. Milaid? Welcome back. And thank you for making the trip. <laughs> After so long, I am only surprised anyone remained here who yet remembered me. Surely you jest, Milady. Pay me no mind. I heard of the king's death. <gasps> She's got a... Big old axe, I guess. Long axe. The skyline is full of unfamiliar figures. It is a testament to how long I've been away. No, it's a halberd. Yeah, I just realized that. I'm like, <laughs> I know what that's called, but I couldn't think of it. I use those a lot in Dark Souls 1. Mm -hmm. Yep, use halberd. It's the guard that's changed the most. It's just chaos and politics there, arguing over matters of succession. Feels like we've lost sight of who we're even protecting. Not to mention talk of monsters at the border. We've nowhere near enough soldiers to deal with them on top of everything else. After tomorrow, the city will calm. Once the formality of the funeral is passed, a new king will be crowned. After which... I suppose there'll be no further need of a search party. Not many even remember we were searching in the first place. The royal funeral draws ever closer. One day remains. One day. Escaping the Nord Mines, the party hailed a horse-drawn coach and returns now to Grand Trad, capital of Ukronia, the day before the royal funeral. As they gaze upon the city, flags of mourning fluttering in the wind, 
the magnitude of their mission exacts its toll on the heart. The fog's rolling in. Rain's the last thing we need. Can this funeral withstand more misfortune? I've heard they don't have enough soldiers to keep the peace. That way it'll be fine. All the aristocrats are bringing their own personal guards. I imagine boredom's the worst we need to worry about. Let's not draw attention to ourselves. There's a hostelry tucked at the back of Sunshade Row, the hushed Honeybee Inn. We'll talk details once we're there. Honey be in? I love that place. Here we go. Rius went ahead. Let's hurry after him. That's terribly unfair. Ooh, what's up? No then. I wonder what the lodging Grius mentioned is like. Can't wait to actually get some rest for once. That's terribly unfair. <laughs> That's terribly unfair. That's terribly unfair. Okay. Ugh, come off it. No, and Elda again? Ugh, it's the same that was skulking around about earlier, too. You dare to show yourself here just as the royal funeral is taking place? Oh, this is such a bad omen. Hurry up and get out of here. Your kind will only make the Magla stronger. Uh. Wow, this lady's one to talk. It's not like she can actually tell how much Magla is in the air. What a bitch. Hey! What's this then? You come to pick this one over too? Hate to tell you, but he's got nothing worth taking. Uh, uh. Is he alright? What? Never seen someone hit by this before? Just look at him. Of course he's not alright. I think someone moves him along during the day, but come night, he's always around these parts moaning like a ghoul waste of sympathy trying to look out for these types not exactly a rare sight in town what is wrong with him oh my gosh city is full of brain sick unfortunates like him No detours? What? Oh. Is this our destination? The Now Filono Tavern. Seriously? A tavern? Let's not put food before the mission. We can always come back later, but I want to do it now. Alright, let's look at our map here. All right, then. We want to go down this road. That's terribly unfair. <sighs> This journey was a rough one. I came across a horde of Gorborns and thought I was going to die. I suppose it is reckless to be in this line of work with just a plain old horse-drawn carriage. Oh, if only I had a gauntlet runner. Wait, what's the point of complaining to an Elda? I must be more exhausted than I thought. Hey, screw you. What is this? Oh, could it be? You're an Elda, correct? My, I've never seen one of your kind. I assume you're not from these parts. Tell me, do you hail from outside the city? That's right. <laughs> I see. I must admit, I'm quite jealous of you, Elda. Traveling outside of the city is the most dangerous venture, unless you have a gauntlet runner, that is. Well, if this is your first time here, I must warn you to stay on your guard. This city's denizens can be somewhat unwelcoming towards people of your tribe. Yeah, I've noticed. Oh, this is a new, a new, um, clan or race or whatever. Whoa, he's got wings. Oh, well, he was nice to me. I guess, I'm guessing uh, people don't really like his kind either. Let's see if we can get some information. Hold on, um, uh, memorandum. So... The rogue tribe. There's new information about them, but I want to know. Uh, 
I guess we don't get information on his tribe yet. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Five tribes, there's eight. I'm guessing one is the fairies and one of the winged people. The elders, the... Um... So the elders, the horn people, the elf people, the dog people, the, uh, the rogue people, and then... Yeah. Okay. Alright. Look, I don't give a toss who's king. I just want some coin. So, this is Sunshade Row. Seems a fine place to disappear from prying eyes. But where's the inn? You suppose we should ask around? Now, what is this guy supposed to be? He doesn't have pointy ears. He doesn't have any markings. He doesn't have a tail. He doesn't have horns. He doesn't have wings. Do you need something? The hushed honeybee inn. Only bad sorts of folk in there, you know. Well, go at your own risk. I won't stop you. You know the narrow alley behind the right side of the gallows? Go down that and there'll be some stairs. as at the end of the way. That doesn't sound like a very great place. Shop in front of the gallows. Oh, I can't. I can't do business. Pompous man. Oh, hello. Nice hair. Nice hat. Interesting looking fellow. That accursed landlord. Told him my mother comes tomorrow and he still springs all this work on me. Hey, you fancy a riddle? Where is one sure to find the kind-hearted in this country? Um, no idea. <laughs> right up on those gallows there. Yes, the people hanging there are good, virtuous people. A true villain never faces judgment, no matter their crimes. Well... By the way, you're not from the capital, are you? What brings you to this cesspool of a city? Some bee place or something? <laughs> ah, the honeybee. What business might one have there? Ah, I love his hair, yes. Seems like a nice fellow. And again, I don't see any distinguishing, like, features, so... I'm confused, like... What tribe are you? Trying to learn about the world here. Maybe some rogues have no markings on their faces? I don't know. Maybe it's one we haven't met yet. <sighs> the first time we came, there was a hanging here. It was an awful thing to witness. Oh yeah, I remember that now. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> when will the next execution be? Oh, I can't wait. That last Nydia was a sight to behold. It's not often you get to see such pathetic cowering. Nydia? Maybe one of the other... Uh, tribes are called Nydia? These are interesting goods, but I don't think they'll be of much use to us. Dreadful. All right, let's keep going. <sighs> don't look at me, damn Elda. Well, fine then. Oh, here's another one of these people with this strange affliction. Lots of, uh, I guess, homeless people or people down on their luck. Gloam Hall. Mm -mm. Gloam Hall? If it's an igniter shop, they're doing a good job disguising it. Either way, we need to be elsewhere right now. 
But I want to explore. I want to see Fog all the, the things. Yeah, we're getting into worse Watch areas. You can bet they'll all see you as an easy. <laughs> Oops. What is it? <laughs> I keep trying to bust out my sword, like hack stuff. Grius, we heard all the soldiers at the fort got annihilated, but not you. I see, you stubborn old bastard. About that. Aye, don't you worry. Nearly all of Sunshade rose in your debt. None of us here will go running our mouths now. Glad to have you back, Grius. Isn't that... Hmm, compared to that big boulevard we came from, this street is pretty dreary. But the hushed honeybee inn should be nearby. Here we go. This place. This is the hushed honeybee inn. Finally, a place to get a proper rest. Something good's cooking too. I can smell it. Let's hurry inside. Ooh. You're back. Hello, hostess. And hello, Mr. Spock. Looks very comic booky. Yeah, I like the art style too. It's very nice. I also noticed that the color the coloring is quite muted in this game. It's got a very specific aesthetic. I mean the brightest or most pastel-y thing we have is um Galica's like hair and outfit so far. Papa, welcome home. <gasps> Cute little girl with wings and a fox lady. Well, hello, my Maria. I trust you've been staying out of trouble. That's your daughter? Like by blood, or because she's not the same. These are, uh, well, new recruits. Just enlisted. Maybe she's adopted. So young. It's good to meet you. I'm Fabienne. This inn is my business and my home. Manners, Maria. Um, welcome. Hey, I'm wasting away over here. Where's my order? Maria, could you handle that? Yes, right away. She is so cute. Look at her little face. You're back sooner than I thought. Something happened. Something bad. Barely any survivors. I see. I didn't know Grius had a daughter. I know I've already asked so much of you, but... Would you mind looking after Maria a little while longer? Of course. It wouldn't be the honeybee without her. Now, as for the rest of you, after braving the frontiers with this curmudgeon, I'm sure you would welcome a warm supper. Oh, yes, we would. Once we're done, we'll head upstairs. It's so good. I see tomatoes and potatoes, maybe? Or is that meat? I'm not sure, but it does look good. I see, like, some seasoning on top. Some herb or something. Mm. Oh, 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 spicy. I can't feel my tongue. Oh, now you're talking. Now you're talking, spicy. Oh, bite down and eat, boy. I'll take, I'll take uh, seconds, please. Oh, look at little uh, Galica. She's got a tiny little plate there. That was delicious, especially the meat. I wasn't expecting it to have such a kick, but it grows on you fast. Red grass roasted bido, bird meat. One of her hometown specialities. Oh, okay, it was bird meat. So chicken. <sighs> She's risked a I like lot chicken. to shelter me and to help the resistance. I owe her more than I can say. You said we were short-handed. Are we really the only ones? I know we've plenty of independent agents fighting in their own ways. 
but it seems none could avail themselves to us. Which means we're the only ones who can do this. Still killing Luis. That's not going to be an easy feat. Grius, do you have a plan? Fill us in. Midway through the funeral. In broad daylight. That's insane. It's risky, to be sure, but we'll never find a better chance at confronting the man directly. Don't worry. I'll be the only one getting close to him. I'll need you to draw Luis's attention from a different location. All I need is an opening. And don't rely on your fancy powers for this, all right? It'll attract too much attention. Killing a man and slaying a beast are two very different things. Okay. This is all I need. You're joking. You and that kitchen knife against an archmage. Isn't there anything we can do to help? No, you'll just get in the way. Besides, this kitchen knife can slit his throat like the swine he is. A fast kill, if not a clean one. It's nothing I've not done before. Give me my opening, and the man's dead. Mm. You're the boss, Grius. You're the man with the... the steel eye patch and uh, those eyebrows. Can't really... Can't really complain here. All right. Not much of a choice, I suppose. One last thing. Keep Maria company a while, would you? The girl gets lonely on her own. Aren't you at least going to tuck her in? Got to prepare tonight. Too much still needs doing. And best that it's done as far from her as possible. And there's his fatherly side, I suppose. Sorry, but I'm going to bed early. I need a full night's rest if I don't want to be a liability. Well, we've all been short on time to ourselves. But I'd feel bad leaving Marie all alone. Shall we go check in on her? Oh, At yes. Least? I'd like that very much. Look at that. Okay. Hey. After nothing but the hard ground of campsites, I'm looking forward to sleeping tonight. You can handle Grius' daughter, can't you? Well, we'll see. Is she a handful? Check the view from the window. I can faintly hear the hustle and bustle of the city from beyond the closed shutters. Let's go. What? Oh, there she is. You have a box on your head. You know, that's the second time I've seen somebody with a box on their head. I wonder what that's all about. I am so curious to learn more about the different, like, um, people in this, in this world. Food shelf. Fabi- Fabian? 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 What was her name? Fabian's groceries for the inn are all lined up. I don't want to get in her way, so I'll leave them alone. Okay. Please enjoy your stay. Grius and I go some ways back. Please make yourselves at home. Did you need something? Let's play a game. I was thinking we could play a game. Play a game? But it's already night time. Oh, I just remembered. Papa said you have a strange book. And that I should ask to see it. You like books, huh? Well, I haven't ever seen one before, so I was wondering what they're like. Oh, want to read it together? Want to read it together? Really? Oh, but I still have work to do. Don't worry, Maria. I can handle this crowd. You have fun reading upstairs. Really? Yes. Really? You did a very good job today. Let's read them. There's so many pictures. Are all books like this? 
Miss Fabienne taught me how to read a little. She said it helps with keeping the inn running. Ah, you know how to read a little bit. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive that you know how to read. Well, I can't do lots of hard words, but I like learning new ones. So she knows how to read, but she's never seen a book. Plus, I like when people say I'm clever, so I've got to work really, really hard. Papa always says not to go into his room, so I wait for him a lot. I'm good at waiting. Are you sure you're all right? Are you sure you're doing all right? Yes. Papa's always like this when he comes home, but I'm happy he's here. Thank you. It was fun talking to you. Let's do this again sometime. Let's do this again sometime. Really? You don't mind talking to me? Then it's a promise. Oh my god. You're helping Papa with his job, aren't you? So, be safe. She's so adorable. I've heard his job can be really dangerous. <laughs> she must be feeling anxious herself, but she's still concerned from the bottom of her heart for our safety. I feel comforted by Maria's kind-hearted nature. <gasps> the pure-hearted maiden, Maria. I had a feeling Within this was coming. Her dwells the virtue of the healer. Nurture thy bond with her, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Thank you. Healer archetype. The party can now study the healer. Oh, yeah. I can sense the heroic embodiment of the healer from Maria. You can now study the healer in academia. Try seeing what new powers awaits you. I wonder if Papa will stay for longer this time. It'd be sad if he had to leave right away. Um, I'm sure it'll work out. I'm sure it'll work out. Okay. I think I'll try to read a little bit more and then I'll go find Miss Fabia and go to bed. All right, I'll try to read this part now. Um, in this country, the inn, and the something king hears the voices of the city and protects their way of life. Enlightened king hears the voices of the citizens and protects their way of life. Um, what's this say? society's purpose is to protect its citizens this is a basic principle of this utopia all are equal all live in safety and the rich and poor are as one with no gaps no conflict all are friends deserving of help basically it's a place where there's no fighting and everyone always gets along can't imagine a place like that. Wow. Where is this place? Nowhere in reality. No one gets left alone there, right? I wish I could go. Can I read a little more? Um... We're probably not going to bed anytime soon. As dawn breaks, so begins the procession to the Grand Cathedral. The king's casket has left the castle. The procession will take the main streets to its destination, the Grand Cathedral. I'll have you blend in with the guards posted there. On my mark, you'll create a distraction. Draw Luis's attention. What, with the soldiers? But our uniforms are... I had Fabienne patch them up. In the state they were in? <laughs> that must have taken all night. Let me see. Thanks for keeping Maria company yesterday. I'd appreciate if it wasn't the last time. 
Don't worry, I'll handle it. Don't worry, I'll handle it. I appreciate it. The girl just has trouble making friends, is all. We're going to split up as soon as we leave. At the Grand Cathedral, we'll pose as guards to cause a commotion. I leave the rest to you. I bet Will here probably can relate to Maria and sees like some of his younger self in her too. I'll see to everything here. Don't worry. Papa. I'll be back tonight. Be a good girl while I'm gone, eh? <sighs> Yeah, and then we can read some more. We can read a little more from my book, all right? Really? Once we're back, let's all have dinner together. Yes, please. Be careful. See you soon. Once it's over, we'll regroup back here at night. I'm counting on you. We'll do our best. Right then. Let's get ourselves ready, then head for the Grand Cathedral. Major facilities include the weapon shop, armor shop, general store, and magic shop. Let's go. To get to the Grand Cathedral, we've got to head down San Lumeo Street and then turn right when we get to the square in front of the gallows. There should be some shops selling weapons or armor on our way, so let's stop by. If you can't find them, your map should help. Oh. All right, so we save here and tomorrow when we return to this, we will have some very exciting stuff to do. Also, I have a... I have a theory, not a theory. I have an idea of what might happen, um, but I'll tell you guys later. Okay. What does the fairy creature do? Oh, she just, uh, she helps us out. She's our little guide. She's making sure that we stay to our mission and she can uh put music in our ears oh. that reminds me as well as uh we can use her to yeah. kind of she can show us some things with her sight namely like enemy stats i don't think i don't know if anything else oh. and she's just cute i mean most importantly she's just cute Who's saying, oh. <laughs> okay, anyways. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And we're here with this, this person moaning somewhere. I remember now. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get away from this spot. That reminds me. I wonder if the funeral will be packed with the country's aristocrats. Yeah. Yeah. The chaos gives us a perfect opportunity. So again, just to recap. Oh. Uh, first of all, oh, oh. Second of all, the funeral for the king is happening very soon and that's where we're going to assassinate luis the one who killed the king okay what are you doing here this ain't a place for a guy of your stature hold on an elder i see so that's why um what do you mean take a look around mate the people who gather here have a little something in common an elder like you, Parapus like us, I won't pry, but it's safe to say we've all been through the ringer we have. <laughs> well, he seems nice. 
What is it? This game is definitely making me do a bunch of uh, accents for sure. <laughs> Whoa. Today's the funeral. The king, he's really gone. My bottle's about gone too. Gonna have to throw my own funeral. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, he reeks. What's with this guy? We can't go through this way, so let's steer clear. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. My bad. Is that a banana peel and an apple core? <laughs> it's interesting. Okay. Oh, look, it's more. I don't know why, but I can sense more's presence over there. Does that mean this place is peaceful enough that you can connect to Academia? Come to think of it, I did find a new power. I should go to Academia when I can. Hmm. Okay. Let's go then. Now, where was I? Go to Academia. Well, well. I sense the presence of a new archetype. Might I see them, if you have a mind to show me? Hmm. Ah, thank you for coming. You seem to be walking your own path, as I expected you would. Splendid. Well then. I realize this is sudden, but there's something I wanted to ask of you regarding the power you all are gifted with about archetypes. I've a task I'd like you to undertake. What? What do you mean by task? All right. To stand fearless in the face of change that may or may not alter your form, but reveal the heroic qualities you embody. Oh, that may not only alter. That indeed is the truth of archetypes. The heroes of our kingdom's history all showed glimpses of some of such power though not to the extent you have yet now their tales are largely forgotten fables in obscurity that means a hero standing alone is no hero at all but a simple dissenter without the support of others their ideals are soon buried beneath history's weight and their lives go unnoticed The same holds true for archetypes. An archetype will only reach their ultimate power once you obtain and unite many heroic embodiments. If you can achieve this, my dream shall too be fulfilled. In this way, I am sure we can take the first step toward the ideal world I described in my novel. Because you see... Researching this is vital for me as well. For our first task, I'd like you to cultivate the heroic embodiment of the healer. I'm certain the task will be a fruitful opportunity for you to hone what draws others to you. That is to say, your outwardly royal virtue. This one's important. Okay. Raise the healer archetype to rank 10. This can be completed by anyone. There's no deadline. My reward will be three heroes in senses. And it'll increase my Please. imagination. Okay. You need but complete your task and speak to me. The act alone will grant me boundless understanding. Why are you helping me? Why? Why are you going to such lengths to help me? Uh... I already told you. Call it a personal wish and an opportunity for mutual benefit. Yes, that's right. A confrontation with your nemesis is inevitable, is it not? For all your plans and devices, one day you will have to face and fight. Count Luis. But for that. To that end, you must seek to awaken new and stronger archetypes and research the way their powers complement each other. Chance encounters often spur a hero to grow and indeed change the very world around them. As we share a fantasy of ideals, surely I too will share in this Best growth. Research. And when that happens, my memories may gradually return. The king's seal upon them may fade, such as where this place is, and why the king confined me here. <laughs> the, through research, you gain more power, 
and I regain my memories and ultimately we reach the utopia I dream of. A mutually beneficial agreement, no? Already your efforts have done much for my research. Now there is more I can do to assist How delightful. you. If an archetype has learned a skill, I can make it inheritable by other archetypes. I can show you whenever you'd like. In this way, your encounters with others will become a source of even greater strength. Regards. Let us face these hardships together. I have high hopes for your future endeavors. Welcome. Skill Inheritance is now available. You can spend magic to unlock previously learned skills and give them to other archetypes. You can individually set the skills each archetype inherits. Inherit skills. Who shall inherit? William. Seeker. Um, there's nothing there. Okay, doesn't look like I can do that yet. Okay, I want William to do this healer thing, I guess. Here we go. Seeker, healer. I need a thousand magic. I have that. I see. Steady. Fascinating. The healer. This is the archetype you sense from Maria's way of this life. Right here. Its heroic embodiment is that of a saintly presence who gives strength to others through their love and devotion to all, all life. Right. Do you want to awaken it? I'm counting on I you. I do. That is the power I seek. Of course. Then so be it. By shared resolve and honored creed, take new form as a healer. I hear the voices of heroes past souls. O, o worthy heart, who tempers anxiety into strength. If thou art prepared to reach out a hand to the, any in need, even amidst the chaos of battle, I shall bestow upon thee our soul, the soul of the healer. Really? So this is the power of the healer's soul. I feel the power of restoration and light within me. I will help others. For anyone in need, I will do all in my power. The healer archetype has awakened. New skills, new possibilities. Channel the healer archetype. Yes. I will do it. What's this? Tree healer unknown. Rank 20. Okay. Skr. Skill inheritance. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. What am I doing? Okay, so. Hold on. Inherit skills. William is a healer. Seeker. So how do I... Oh, Hama. Deals weak light magic damage to enemy. Hama came from... Healer. So... Ah, okay. I think I get it now. So the healer right now has light damage. Passive. Recovers HP each time a support attack lands in overworld combat. So I can give my healer Day, Tarakaja. I'm a healer with no healing abilities. Hold on a second. Archetype details. Next skill, Medi. Weak HP recovery for all allies. They won't inherit or learn any kind of light dodge, Dakunda. Passive. Patra. Okay, so let's give healer the one ally recovery right. heal. For 600 magic. I've been saving this. Alright. Ah, I can only have one at a time. So far. Okay. 
stroll. I can't do anything with stroll. Okay, so they said we could do some shopping. Sod off. Hey, mister! Mom got cross with me. She said don't say bad things about other people. But saying bad things about a parapis is I okay. What kind of bad things? <laughs> Big ears, no horn. You smell like poo. Huh? You don't have horns either, mister? Are you parapis? Oh god, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> That's awful. Why You've would you teach your child time. that? Whoa. Hey now, elder lad. That's a nice sword you've got there. Hmm. Relax. I'm no thief, but that sword says you're a mercenary. So I've got a little proposal for you. You must have picked up some magic from fighting enemies, yeah? If you're not using it, let me take it off your hands. By mag. I'm talking about tiny magla crystal shards. I buy them up in order of the Sanctus... On order of the Sanctus Don't miss Church. Your to sell now. The accumulators out there gather it too, but I say they're inefficient. Anyway, what else would you use it for? Pretty sweet deal I'm offering, mate. What else would I use it for? Well, I mean, I I can go to this like weird place where there's this guy and he has a cat, and it's we're not really sure exactly where it is, but he's a prisoner there from like the former king, and um there's these things called archetypes, and you know what? Never mind. Isn't that Mag, that's the currency we use to study archetypes in academia. If you're really strapped for money, you could exchange Mag here. You need both, though, so I'll leave it up to you. Oh, so we can ex- Oh, he's an exchanger. Oh. Okay. Oh. It's nothing but Clamar and nobles that round here lately. My head's killing me listening to it all. An insect emitting a strange light. Is that a dead pigeon? Obtained gold beetle. Oh, why is there a dead bird? That's not nice. <sighs> oh, it's the... Oh, lady. Comfort concoctions. Oh, come off it. My word, what is this? There's a hair on this herb. Hm. Fine. Shopkeep, I'll buy it for half the price. What you got? What is it you want? The king wouldn't have looked twice at me, but you can't help but feel sad. Anyway. Why? You make a purchase. You're making a purchase today. Buy, sell, appraise. Appraise? No items. Oh... The action to undertake. Mm -hmm. The variety here is not bad, eh? All these jars do ma uh, uh, do make it a little crap, though. I suppose you can hear the little buggers scurrying away to find new homes. I'm sorry, but please bear with me until I can clean things up. Bye, medicine. Expensive medicine restores two hundred revivals. Ooh, I'm out of revivals. <gasps> Dang it! Fighting that dragon. Sure it was costly, wasn't it? Well, let me see if I can sell first. That'll help. Now that is. Okay, now we have some money to work with here. Okay, so we have a robust remedy. That'll cure poison. We have a cure for an, uh, paralysis. Charm. Use it to return to the dungeon's entrance. Ooh, let's buy some of those. They're cheap. I'm gonna get a fuel. Um, may inflict paralysis on an enemy. I need at least a couple revives, I think. <laughs> okay. And I think I should get some medicines. I don't know if expensive medicines or that. I have some heals now. How much HP do we have? These aren't too expensive. I'm gonna get 10. Okay, that's it for now, because we have weapons and armor. Although I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to afford 
any of that stuff. Oh. <sighs> Armor. Welcome. Oh, what a rare customer. Sorry, but we'll be closing soon because of the royal funeral, I'm afraid. Chelonius Shieldworks. Iron Mail. Plus 35 de defense. Um, Grand Jacket will be plus 16. I'm going to get an Iron Mail for Stroll here. He definitely needs it. Ooh. He's going to need that. Oh, for Greaves. Okay, so Stroll definitely isn't going to need a weapon. Mm. It was a magic shop too, they said, right? I'll hold off on like the boots and stuff. Let's check out the weapons, but I think I don't I don't want to buy any weapons right now. Hello there. Hello. enough though uh oh what now hmm I have a mace I just have the starting mace right now I'm a healer so I can't use my old weapon uh oh hello there that's not good I need like 400 more monies. Oh, I could sell the bastard sword. And the bronze machete. Now then. Now then. Yeah. Okay, we're ready to go see Luis. Alrighty. Wow. Hey, you have a cage on your head. You there. What is this? Soothing sweet bun. I don't have enough. Huh. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, amazing. We're out of money, so we might as well just oh, go to our dear. objective. Because I can't buy anything else. Oh, look, it's this pink-haired girl again. Hello. Mm. Wonder what it's like inside. I've got this friend working for a nice family. She'll get to watch the royal funeral from the good seats. It's quite fresh. Water merchant. Buy a cooking ingredient. Restores 30 MP to one ally. Ooh, I could buy some MP heals. If only I were rich. Amazing. What should I do? Butcher. Cooking ingredient. Amazing. Whoa, this place is packed. Got it. It's time to sneak in. You ready? I'm All ready. Right. Let's find somewhere out of sight so we can change. Lots of lords and nobles. Some generals, too. All the big names are here. Mm -hmm. Can you see Grius? Hmm. Huh. I can pick him out. Although I don't see Luis around. Oh, uh, look there! The call! What is this?
Isn't that the flower straight from the king's garden? And a common-blooded man bearing them to a funeral? Does the man know no shame? That's tantamount to declaring himself royalty! You barbarian! Quite an entrance. Your fool of a king is dead! <sighs> Disillusioned by vain aristocrats and simpering clergy, he withered and died under his own weakness. The audacity! How can he say that? This is madness! At the king's own funeral! Lord Louis speaks true! The nobles are to blame! Name the guilty! But open your eyes, and you will see the crisis in our nation. I will show you truth! The truth of reality! Oh, what is in there? You've all been sheltered, blinded by walls of stone. Behold a human corpse. They are no mere rumor. They lurk and nest across the very land you call home. Oh my God. It's a big ass head. Oh God. That thing is huge. A fortress at the border was raised by a human mere days ago. How long before we're overrun? You can only blame your king's weakness. And thus, who deserves his crown? A man of proven strength! How dare you, scoundrel! Your words were on treason! Against what ruler, Blue Blood? The dead cannot be betrayed. <laughs> Let your late king's soul bear witness! Let Louis Squeerburn be named the true and rightful ruler of Ucronia! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what are we? What? What's happening? It's such power. It can't be. What? The palace. Talking. The people of my land desire a new king, and I shall provide. That's crazy. Did he just say he flowed us the bit? That face, it can't be. His Majesty, the king. How? Is it he was dead. Why? Be silent. Let him say his peace. Heed me, O oh Kingless. Time is finite before my soul departs this benighted world. In four moons of life past death, there shall come a reckoning, a day of the hero. Upon that day, whosoever hath truly earned the greatest faith of the citizenry shall ascend to throne and crown by right of things. By right of kings, the faith of the citizenry. Truly. From the lofty heaven shall my unfading soul look down upon thee, and from the whispered hopes of thine anxious hearts shall those to whom thine allegiances lie be laid bare. Ah! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I hear thy voices ring out in clarion truth. Here and now witness the faces of those most desired to become king. It's Vorden. Count Louise! Count Louise is there too! They're all candidates. 
What? <laughs> this is what so weird. Spectacle. The mantle of king is mine by rights and providence. You go too far, Luis. We gather to mourn his majesty, and you desecrate it. You would befoul the throne, blackguard. <laughs> so be it. Shall we test that? Good people, is Forden truly fit to be king? Or shall you cast off the shackles of blind faith? We need not be chained to birth or tribe. In my world, we are a people equal and united. I shall be your shield from the human menace. Together, peace is within our grasp. When my village burned, the church did nothing. There's no way we can fight those what? monsters alone. And those of us huh? in bonds? Will we too be protected? Don't be fooled. He's not the man you think he is. Hey, look. He's telling them what they want to hear. He's catching up to Gordon. Can the giant thing really see what we're thinking? Luis, you've led the people's hearts astray. No future exists without the power to eliminate the human crisis. Those who stand at my side, who oppose the powers that be, my protection is yours. Or refuse my hand and perish. I will lead us over your corpses. You mean, just as you killed the king? A country is heavier than a crown, and he could not bear it. Retribution passed due. You vile! He no, he's not even... He cares nothing for the blood on his hands. Damn you, Luis! You think you truly deserve the crown? You doom us all! I won't stand for it! Hey, Damn, go stroll! He's he stroll! A Kingslayer deserves only death! <laughs> He's not even denying that he killed the king. Yes, good. You need to go too. Where's Grius? He's got the ninja run. Alsis? I shall not suffer the defiance of my people's will. In my name art thou punished. Punished? Impressive. One of the royal family's dogs. Rather poetic, I suppose. See how he is rewarded with your loyalty. Mm. I warned you, this is the price of the fight. Shit. Though I hadn't expected the king's own magic on my side. So be it. Rally behind me. I will shield you from injustice. Rise above birth and circumstance, for they mean nothing. Count Luis is our only what hope. Do we have? He'll kill any oh against God. Not much of a choice. Upon the day of the hero, whosoever has most earned my people's faith shall ascend upon my throne to rule, according to my judgment. Be thou criminal, pauper, or noble, thy claim is decided not by stature or tribe. I shall bear witness. From this heavenly seat I am nigh omnipotent. Look to the faces carved upon this rock, and see thou the faces of the Chosen. I shall brook no sabotage or obstruction of this trial. Let all hear me and obey. Well, I can't say that I didn't see that coming. But I didn't expect it to go down quite like that. Damn it. Luis! Alsace. Oh. 
Now what? The sun sets on old fossils. It is a new dawn, and its light shines upon Lord Luisa's king. Who the hell is this? Stand down! Damned meddlers. Say your wishes to die, is it? Your bones will be monuments to Lord Luisa's glory! He defiles the dead! Ah, but Lord Luis has sent me here on an important errand. What errand? Did we just lose one it seems I'll need Scottish for another one? To accumulate the magla. Until it's done, however, I'm afraid I'll have to borrow the cathedral. The day the king's morning ends will become the day of calamity. If you mean to interfere, then die. Strong. The souls of the dead do not return. He manipulates them as puppets with foul magic. Brace yourselves, everyone. <sighs> Reyes. What is this? What the hell is this? He helped us beat that dragon with his ice magic. Stroll, get a hold of yourself. We've got company. Oh, keep it together. Got to stay calm. Calm. Damn it, I can't focus. Uh, status. Party members have <coughs> a chance to be inflicted with anxiety in two circumstances when you're ambushed or when they receive a critical hit from an enemy during battle. Allies affected with anxiety will be unable to control archetypal skills and attacks against them won't consume enemy turn icons, among other things. Pay special attention to this status ailment. Sorry about that. I'll be all right. Here they come. Brace yourselves. Hit rate 100, okay. There's a lot of these guys. Ow. Stroll's anxiety is spiking. Keep the enemies off him. I don't have an item to deal with that, do I? I can cure burn. That's about it. No point wasting this. Um, I. I have a question. Who was surprised by Grius's death? Because honestly, like, as soon as he said the plan i was like oh he's he's gonna die <laughs> you were so blazer because like you didn't think they would kill someone this soon exactly psycho he was way too old all of our party members are gonna be like early 20s right late teens maybe i played too many games like this I mean, I played a lot of games where a playable character or like a, a prominent character early on gets killed like that. Like I, Tales of Arise I comes can't. to to mind without saying anything more than that. But yeah, the older characters, they got to watch out when everybody else is all young and 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 hot and fresh and you know, <laughs> OK, anyways. The moment he said goodbye to his family, you were like, okay, that's it. Yeah, there were, I think, I feel like there were a lot of, look at these guys. They're like, let's go. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. All right, all right, all right. We'll go, we'll go. Yes, I get it. I get it. So I can't use archetype. Me. I oh, I can? I don't know what's going on. Let's go. Okay. Deals weak light damage to one enemy. I feel like they might be weak to light damage. They look pretty, Bye. uh... Yeah, there you go. There you go. Stroll's anxious, and they're targeting him. That's bad, right? It's probably bad. I won't hold back. Light. I can't afford to hold back. Taste steel. Let's stay calm. Let's go. Flare. 
Anybody get the lyrics to this song? I need the lyrics. Where'd that man go? Did he take soldiers into the cathedral? There should be a mausoleum nearby. Could you take his body there? Yes, right away. Take care with him, please. He was a dear friend. He gave his all for the king. For the royal bloodline. The least he deserves is dignity and death. My name is Hulkenberg. I have a question for you. Hulkenberg. That power you wield is not something they teach in the army. You are no ordinary soldier. And you? You're clearly more than a guard, Captain. I am a knight in the Crown's service. Commanding the guard is not my station's duty, but... These are dire times. A knight? And you pretend at soldiery. But that matter can wait. Alsays seem to know you. Who is that? Grius! Catch on! Who is Alsace? We'll have time for debate after we apprehend that mage. He's after the Royal Scepter, I'm sure of it. The Royal Scepter? Please! Someone! Help! Please help! I've still got family inside! Did he trap civilians in the cathedral? Yes, my family and more. I don't envy their chances if he finds them helpless. I am honor bound as a knight to answer their plea. I would ask your aid as well, if you might give it. Does it not tarnish the royal knights to enlist the aid of strangers? I haven't the luxury of refusing able fighters. If I turn back here, I'd never be able to face Grius. Any objections, my friend? None that would stop you. None that would stop you, I expect. Do you know me so well already? Let's just watch out for those accursed skeletons. More fighting? Grand Cathedral. Oh, look at this place. We need to catch up to that knight. Hold it. No. Um, I gotta say, when the huge face came down from the sky, that was awesome and very unexpected. The king still holding on to this like plane of existence for just a little while longer with this immense like magic that only the king can wield and uh making sure that he leaves his kingdom in in capable hands or at least in the hands of that the people want it to be in uh that was really cool